What do you know about war? They'll tell you it's about patriotism, democracy. You want to know what it's really about? War is an economy. I'm going to talk very seriously and pretend like this is a very difficult decision. Where should we get dinner tonight? This place might not have done. Okay, deal. My name is David Packels. I'm 22 years old, and I'm an international arms dealer. This is my partner. He was my friend from junior high. This isn't about being pro-war. This is about being pro-money. You need to chill out. How am I supposed to chill out? We're in a Muslim country. I can't even get a prostitute. It's chaos here. We're doing God's work. War Dogs. Rated R. Hello? Hey. Hey, babe. Did I wake you? No, I'm just at the hotel. We're about to have some breakfast. Listen, I get why you're doing this. It's just the lying that kills me. I need you to know that you can tell me anything, David. David? Yeah, I gotta call you right back. Is everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. Okay, I love you, bye. Hey! What? Look! Go, go! My name is David Packhouse. I'm 22 years old, and I'm an international arms dealer. Six months ago, I was a massage therapist at Miami Beach. Sorry, it fell. And now, here I was with my friend from junior high. I think you should come work for me. I'm against this war. This isn't about being pro-war. This is about being pro-money. <laughs> How did two 20-something young men land a $300 million Pentagon contract? You told me you guys were selling bed sheets. I also told you that we're selling other stuff, too. I thought you meant pillows. God bless Dick Cheney's America! Hundred million rounds of AK ammo? He can fill the whole order. I'm barred from doing any business with the U.S. government. I'm on a watch list. You're on a terrorist watch list? Do you work for Homeland Security? Relax, bro. This is the job to do business with the people the U.S. government can't do business with directly. We're no on the verge of making $300 million. Is that legal? It's not illegal. I'm not a bad man. But in certain situations... I have to ask myself, what would a bad man do? Is this safe, driving to Baghdad? Very safe. 50-50. What, like 50% we live, 50% we die? Yes. This is why we drive through the night. It is much safer. How much safer? 50-50. Bro, what the... What do you know about war? They'll tell you it's about patriotism, democracy. You want to know what it's really about? War is an economy. I'm going to talk very seriously and pretend like this is a very difficult decision. Where should we get dinner tonight? This place might not have done. Okay, deal. My name is David Packels. I'm 22 years old, and I'm an international arms dealer. This is my partner. He was my friend from junior high. This isn't about being pro-war. This is about being pro-money. Need to chill out. How am I supposed to chill out? We're in a Muslim country. I can't even get a prostitute. It's chaos here. We're doing God's work. War Dogs. Rated R. Sir, there are some guys here to see you. What kind of guys? I have to go first. I'm American. How did two young men land a $300 million Pentagon contract? You should work for me. I'll make you rich. A <laughs> hundred no million rounds of AK ammo? Is that legal? It's not illegal. God bless America! War Dogs. Rated R. 
Frankly, we were a tad concerned with your performance history against a deal of this size. But after meeting you two face to face, we feel like we're in good hands on this one. We won't let you down, sirs. Not to mention your bid was far too attractive for us to pass up. What did you mean by that exactly? He means you boys lowballed the entire industry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, by how much? You guys came in $53 million lower than the nearest competition. Oh, okay. Now to a question that still has no clear answer. How did two 20-something young men land a $300 million Pentagon contract? I have a big idea. They call guys like us war dogs. Bottom feeders who make money off of war without ever stepping foot on the battlefield. Show you about my it was meant to be derogatory, but we kind of liked it. We don't play fair. Sorry, Excuse kind me. of an emergency. Sorry, don't worry, I have to go first, I'm American. You seriously want to drive to Baghdad? David, we're gun runners. Let's go run some guns. Give me some of that. 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 Come on, man, go! Let me go! You drove these through the triangle of death. The triangle of death, bro? <laughs> we drive through all triangles, including your mom's. Hold up. Does it sound like we're more than two people right now? Yeah. How did two young men land a $300 million Pentagon contract? No we feel like we're in good hands on this one. <laughs> you have to do business with the people the U.S. government can't directly. If I wanted you dead, you'd already be dead. In the Is this safe driving to Baghdad? Very safe. 50-50. War dogs. Sorry, excuse me. Don't worry, I have to go first. I'm American. Rated R.